my name is Jason Luce. Uh, I'm from Thousand Oaks, um, and this is my wife, Jessica. Um, and I'm originally from New Hampshire, and I moved here to Thousand Oaks a few years ago. And that was around the time that we got involved with Life Group. Um, we, well, Jason knew someone from childhood who was going in a life group and going to the bridge and invited Jason, and I was in Europe at the time, and I remember Jason telling me, oh, like, I'm going to this group with James, and there were, like, a bunch of people, and I was like, oh, that's cool, like, whatever. <laughs> um, and then I came back uh, to the United States after being in Europe for a time, and I also started going to the same life group, and we've been going ever since. It's been a really huge part of our lives. Um, and I know for me especially, having joined the life group soon after moving here, it's, I feel like the people in my life group are kind of my family here. I just, we do a lot of things together. We really are involved in each other's lives. Um, and I like to joke that I don't have friends, but the people in my life group are our friends. Um, in my walk as a Christian, I think that the life group really helps hold me accountable. Um, I know that it's easy to kind of leave Sunday and just think, oh, that was a great sermon, and then not really apply it to the rest of my life. Um, and I know that there are certain things like sin that crops up, or, or sorry, pops up, and um, just these different things that I know I struggle with as a Christian, and I think that the life group really helps um, create a place where I can be open and honest about those things and not just kind of bog my husband down with it, even though... You don't bog me down. <laughs> um, I mean, I know that like having a spouse is really good for that, but just to have this group where you know, if we're struggling through something together, we can bring that to them, or individually. Um, and they have, there's a lot of wisdom in having a group of people beyond the two of us who have gone through different seasons and um, have experienced different things as Christians and to just kind of be able to have a place where we go to people and say like, hey, we're going through this. How, like, do you have any advice? Is there a way you can hold us accountable? Um, it's been a really great support group in a lot of ways. Yeah, and it's really cool also to have people who you see every week who you're praying for and you know that they're praying for you as well it's like this is not meant to be a solitary thing and like she was saying in our previous i don't know religious life um it was like a solitary pursuit and it could be very just like defeating and very alone and not really conducive to growth and so you know leaning on other people and knowing that they're like, you know, like they're also leaning on everyone else in the group, that we're kind of doing this together. Our, you know, our struggles are not something that we're, you know, tackling on our own. It's like we're part of a unit, um, in a way. I think that having a life group makes the idea of serving kind of less intimidating because you know people who are already doing it. Yeah. And it also, I think that it also just kind of gives an example of what service actually looks like within the church. Yeah, yeah, it's scary to, to try to step out and meet people who you haven't ever met before mm -hmm. and to join a community um, for the first time. Of course, that's a really scary thing. Um, but not only has that been a big blessing for us when we stepped out and did that in trust, but we've seen it be a blessing in everyone else's life as well. And it's such that it's hard for us to imagine what we would do without it. Um, it, it it's, it's hard for us to imagine our life at the bridge without our life group. And so even though it might be intimidating at first, um, the, the blessings of it are so huge. It's, 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 it's not something that you want to miss out on.